You out there ladies and gents, how's it going? This video is of my distinguished gentleman's ride. Now, I wasn't able to join the rambunctious squadron in person. Uh, the logistics didn't work out very well for me and my bike doesn't work in the rain. So, I really didn't fancy being 500 miles away from the rain. So, I've done this and I've also done it as a voiceover. Now the reason I've done it as a voiceover is because there's a lot of words, there's a lot of serious stuff going on here and I don't want to get my stats wrong and I don't want to get any facts wrong. So, uh, yes, welcome to my distinguished gentleman's ride. Now keep that bike from down. The distinguished gentleman's ride unites classic and vintage style motorcycle riders all over the world to raise funds and awareness for prostate cancer research and men's mental health. Now with COVID-19 limitations around the whole wide world, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride has decided not to do it as a mass ride going to the same locations and stuff around the country. What they're doing this year is uh, ride solo, but ride together. Now we're all riding, I'm just riding on my own. There'll be a link down below to my charity page for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, where if you want to, don't feel obligated, but where if you want to, you should still be able to make a donation. Uh, it would be awesome if you did, but please don't feel obligated to do so. I know times are tough for people. And uh, yeah, you've got to look after yourself before you can think about looking after other people. Male suicides have consistently accounted for approximately three quarters of all suicides in the UK since the mid 1990s. Six and a half thousand people died by suicide in 2018 alone, significantly more than 2017. Us blokes, we're terrible. We bottle things up, we hide things away, we don't tell people when we're not well, we don't accept help when people think that we need it. Uh, but we've got to try and stop this, we've got to try and stop this cycle. The reason we don't open up, the reason we don't let people in, is because we want to feel strong, we want to feel manly. And it's kind of something that's been built into our psyche throughout generations. And it's kind of understandable men are the ones that go off hunting traditionally and go off to war. We can't be seen to be weak. But actually, yes we can. We're not having to go out and hunt for our food. We're not having to defend our village from invaders. These days there is no reason to be alone or in need of help. There are places, there are people that you can go and speak to. Now the reason I'm wearing my Royal Navy uniform, even though I'm no longer a serving member of the Royal Navy, is to highlight the amount of service personnel and ex-service personnel who are taking their own lives. It's absolutely tragic and it feels like for some that there's just no support there, no one to help them, but there is. Back in 2018, research showed that in Scotland, an ex-member of the armed forces took their life every six days every six days and that's just Scotland statistics shown by the MOD suggest that the suicide rate of currently serving forces personnel is not that high but it is still high in the last year seven people per hundred thousand committed suicide in the Royal Navy ten people per hundred thousand committed suicide in the army and five people per hundred thousand in the RAF. This, this isn't acceptable. These are the people that are putting their lives on the line for everyone else. Who's looking after them? Who's looking after them? If you are feeling down, if you are feeling like you need help and you don't think it's there for you, there are people you can call. There really are. Back in 2018, at least 75 veterans took their own lives. It's unacceptable to do something to try and help these people. They're at rock bottom. We need to provide the support and we need to provide the awareness. If you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts and is needing to reach out, is needing help, please do contact the Samaritans on 116 123. You can also contact the Campaign Against Living Miserably or CALM for men. Call 0800 58 5 8 5 8 5 p.m. to midnight every day. I'm going to put these numbers down below uh, so if you are suffering or know someone that is please pass them on to them and if you are suffering yourself please give these people a call. That's what they're there for. 
are there to help you. I hope these thoughts aren't coming out too disjointed and uh, this video isn't too depressing but suicide is um, something that's quite close to my heart and uh, it has affected me in my life and I don't want it to affect anyone else. I really don't. If you are serving or an ex member of our armed forces the Royal British Legion is there to help members of the Royal Navy, British Army, Royal Air Force, veterans and their families. They've got people that can help you. To contact the British Legion call 0808 802 8080 8am to 8pm 7 days a week. Don't leave it till it's too late. Get help before you get swamped, before you get overwhelmed. So as well as mental well-being, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride is also trying to focus on men's health too, including prostate cancer. Again, this is something that's quite close to my heart at the moment, and I do hope that if your physical well-being is in need of looking after, that you go out and get the help that you need to. Now, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride is uh, partnered up with Movember, who have been collecting funds and channeling it into cutting-edge prostate cancer research and treatment programs, as well as funding innovative mental health programs. So back in 2016, Movember pumped in half a million pounds to help two projects uh, fighting prostate cancer and mental health. In 2017, uh, there was almost 700,000 going towards prostate cancer and mental health. Then in 2018, 730,000, and then in 2019, it went to five projects uh, for uh, prostate cancer and men's mental health, and some of them included the veterans and first responders. So money is getting out to these charities, uh, but we also need to get this awareness up, get everyone talking about it, so that if you have any friends that you are a bit concerned about, you can touch base with them and give them some information, help them help themselves. So please do get involved and uh, if you haven't done so already and are able to, please do donate on my charity page, which is linked to down below. Again, don't feel pressured into doing that at all. I don't want anyone to go without food or things that they need uh, to line a charity to look after ourselves. That's kind of the whole point of this for me, is that we could look after ourselves by seeking out the help where we need it. This is the potential to be quite a depressing video, and I don't want it to be that at all. I want this to be a positive video, uh, just letting people know that help is there if they need it. I'm sure it's all done as a voiceover. I do much prefer having a microphone in my gob and rabbiting on at you, but I can't get my stats right even when they're written in front of me. <laughs> the amount of takes I'm having to do to get some form of sense out of this at all is uh, a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a joke. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you for watching. I hope I haven't depressed you. I hope you've enjoyed watching my motor Gutsy tear around the countryside over Ditchling Beacon. And I hope you're having a nice day. And if you're not, reach out to someone. And if you haven't got anyone or you can't think of anyone, check out the numbers below, give them a call, the Royal British Legion, Samaritans, there's lots of teams, there's lots of people that have got the support that you need. Anyhow, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye bye for now. Keep that bar from Hey, you no, know, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down.